circulation of blood within the heart. Students note that the atriums are thin walled whereas ventricles are thick walled as they need to pump the blood upwards. Now let's move on to actual circulation of blood through heart. The muscles of the atria are relaxed and the right atrium receives deoxygenated blood collected from different organs of the body via large veins called vena cava. The right atrium contract and pours the deoxygenated blood into right ventricle guarded by tricuspid valves. Thus, the ventricle expands to receive the blood. Now the deoxygenated blood from right ventricle is pumped up which enter the pulmonary artery and reaches lungs for oxygenation. This oxygenated blood from the lungs now enters left atrium through the four pulmonary veins. This blood is then poured in left ventricle guarded by bicuspid valves. Further, the left ventricle contract resulting in pumping out the oxygenated blood to all the parts of the body through the aorta, the largest artery. Thus, the deoxygenated blood enters the right part of the heart and again of oxygenation, it enters the left part of the heart, so the blood goes through the heart twice during each cycle. This is known as double circulation. Students, an important question can be asked based on this. Explain the circulation of blood within the heart in detail. 